Hello, assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'll show you how you can use your iPhone 13 Pro or iPhone 13 Pro Max on your computer as a webcam using OBS. If you're one of those people who have never thought of using an iPhone as a webcam on your computer, then you might also be wondering why going through all the hassle of setting up an iPhone with your computer as a webcam instead of just using the built-in webcam that your laptop has. So it's better to cover the benefits of using an iPhone as a webcam before we dig in and learn the complicated procedure. It's not complicated, it's easy, but still it might be complicated for newbies. So yeah, let's cover the benefits first. Talking about benefits, subscribing to my channel will keep you updated on the latest tips and tricks on technology. So don't forget to hit on the red subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, whenever I upload new content, you will be notified by YouTube automatically. So the first benefit of using iPhone as a webcam is simply why I spend extra money on an additional piece of hardware that even cannot give you 50% of what the iPhone camera is capable of. Now take this example, according to the comparisons done on Tom's hardware website, one of the best 4K webcams, the Logitech Brio, is about 800 Saudi Rials. That's almost 200 US dollars. You can buy a used iPhone 6 with that price. Well, honestly, I don't know why I'm giving this lame example. Okay, but you got the point, right? You don't have to buy an extra camera and then worry about getting it here and there. I know some of you might be saying, Ahmed, we already have built-in cameras in our laptops. And if you are one of those folks that are okay with the built-in cameras, then stop right there and close this video. But if you're like me who loves to impress using video, then keep watching. So what do you need to convert your iPhone into a webcam? First of all, of course, you need your iPhone. You need the lightning cable. You could also do it through Wi-Fi, but I don't recommend it. It's very laggy, so it's better to use your lightning cable. And so this is the hardware part. That's enough. Of course, you also need your uh, laptop or computer because that's where you will be connecting your iPhone. Lastly, you need a piece of software called OBS, which is freely available online. I'm going to share my screen right now so you could see how to install that. I'm going to be installing it on my Mac, but you could also install it on your Windows if you use So it. if you haven't done already, please install OBS and it's very easy. You can just search OBS or OBS project. It just opened right away because I've already uh, have this on my browser history. So if you're using Windows, install OBS Studio from for Windows. I have uh, Mac, so I'll go with this one. And basically it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you click on it, it downloads the .dmg file, once it's finished you open it and just next, next, next and it's downloaded. Uh, once it's downloaded, uh, you can open it up, let me open this up. And here, OBS, 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 it's opening up. Alright, so once you have the OBS, here you can set up some scenes. Now I have uh, some existing scenes which I will delete and uh, all right but before that we need to use we need to install the OBS uh, iOS uh, app, app that I will just show you how you could do that by screen sharing and this basically if you open obs.camera this one and click on the app store I can just open this website on your phone and click on this uh, it will take you to the app store from where you could install the camera for OBS Studio. You need to install this on your iPhone. So installing OBS on your iPhone is pretty straightforward. You just head towards the App Store and search for OBS and you will find the camera for OBS Studio. I have already installed it, but you will have to install it in order to open the app. Once you have installed it, you will have uh, the option to open it and you'll see a couple of options. Now it's important that you go to the output section in the settings and there you have to select the USB option. I will not recommend uh, using the NewTek NDI which actually enables you to use uh, the connection through Wi-Fi or 
any other uh, network medium. Of course, your iPhone will be connected through the Wi-Fi and your computer could be through connected to the network over an Ethernet or Wi-Fi. It depends uh, from situation to situation. But here in this case, we'll go with USB. All right, so once you have installed OBS Studio or camera for OBS Studio on your iOS device, open obs.camera on your desktop and then go to the help and dock section here uh, select usb and then from this page you can download the ios camera plugin for obs studio keep in mind that you need to have obs studio installed just like i have so, so i have already installed this and then since i am on mac i will install the mac plugin if you're using windows you will use the windows plugin all right so you click here and then this will be downloaded you open this and you just hit on next 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 continue and it will install the plugin now keep in mind that in order uh, for this plugin to work again i'm repeating myself you need to have obs installed on your computer now what you would do is you will close obs it's I would suggest to restart your computer okay I don't have to do it right now because I already have done this before uh, if you don't see the plugin here in your OBS so what I would do now is I'll open OBS again okay and now I'll set up a screen what I would do is let's first of all uh, remove everything from here I have you probably if you're installing OBS for the first time you'll see everything as a clean slate okay and what I would do is so here you have different scenes then you can create different scenes and here what I would do is I will add the iOS camera you will see this now you won't see this if you have not installed this plugin after installing this plugin you will be able to see the iOS camera here okay and you click on OK and here you don't see the iOS device why so the reason you cannot see the iOS device in the list is because you might not have connected your iOS device with uh, your computer and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, the wire is, okay, sorry, let me connect the lightning part with my phone and the USB-C part with my laptop here, okay, and then let's see what shows up on my desktop okay good news so once i connected my uh, lightning cable with the with the laptop and with my iphone and i clicked on refresh devices i can see my phone here but uh, let's see if i can see something uh, so i'll click on ok and this is the camera here but it doesn't show anything let me open the all right so <laughs> that's me hello all right, so now my phone, this is my iOS phone, it's being uh, used as a webcam, but right now it's just, okay, just streaming video from my phone into uh, the laptop. So the final part right now, so this is like the major part which is done. The final part right now is to uh, convert OBS or or OBS has a driver it's not like conversion but OBS has a built-in driver for a webcam and let's see how we can use it in different applications like zoom and Google meet okay so I'm gonna put my camera down here phone down and uh, so here we have an option called start virtual camera which will probably install the driver if it's not installed yet the webcam driver for OBS so I'll click on start virtual camera okay and then let's say if I open uh, meet.google.com okay with, which is my favorite uh, tool for online meetings I don't like zoom that much okay so I'll click on start instant meeting okay I'm gonna just mute myself here okay so this is my built-in uh, camera which is the MacBook so uh, uh, like FaceTime camera and then let's I'll go to settings and I'll from here I'll go to video and here I'll select OBS virtual camera okay and now I'll take my phone and here you go do you see the difference guys so this is the iOS 
oh, I'm sorry, it's the iPhone's camera. And you can, you can see the difference. Like the built-in camera of your laptop is nothing compared to the, uh, uh, the, the Apple iPhone's camera. And of course, you could do the settings here. Uh, you can change, uh, you can add anything to your scene. Uh, there, uh, there's so much to explore. I, if you want me to make a video on OBS, I can definitely make a dedicated video on OBS. Just uh, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you like this, like, like I'm, I'm doing this for the hundred times and I'm, I'm still very excited. Like you can see the difference, the, the quality of video, the video quality is so amazing. And uh, compared to the built-in camera you have and you'll have like crisp and uh, very uh, any I don't even have the words to describe this like this is amazing I'm very much excited about it I don't know about you but it really uh, uh, like it really impresses me too like having uh, any able to use the my phone as a webcam and my phone like the uh, Apple iPhone has the best uh, not because it's my phone, but yeah, it's, 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 it has the best camera. So yeah, uh, so that's how you do it. I hope you uh, like this video. Uh, do uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so and share it with your friends if you think they will find it valuable. All right, uh, see you in the next video.